guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead Pater with you today. We're going to answer a couple of questions about egg color, okay? And particular breeds that I'm getting a lot of questions about in my homesteading group. So let's talk about the Black Copper Moran, the wonderful Welsimer, and the unbelievable Golden Comet. Let's talk about it. Okay, so first things first, let's talk about the breeds of these chickens because they are all very different, okay? So you need to know what works well for your area and what you are specifically looking for in terms of color, also for egg production because you're going to find all three of these breeds very, very different. Some folks are going to sit here and go, why in the world is she putting a Golden Comet in with a Black Copper Moran and a Welsimer? Well, I'm going to tell you why. It's because they are one of my favorite breeds in terms of egg production, but not just because they give a lot of eggs every day or every year, but because I think that they are awesome eggs. So what I want to do is say, let's talk about these breeds first, and then I'll show you the eggs individually so you can see the color better. I have housed and raised all three of these breeds for several years now, and at this point, I will gladly tell you that I continue to add all of these breeds to my farm. So I don't think you're going to go wrong with any of these breeds, whether you like the rich, dark, James Bond, black copper moran color, as they say, if you love the beautiful speckles that you're going to find on the Welsimer eggs, or if you just want production, production, production with a really friendly little hen. So let me say, I enjoy all of these breeds. I have found all of them overall to work very well for me, but I have different expectations than a lot of folks do of their chickens. I like to appreciate chickens for what they are in terms of their personalities. I don't expect, expect any animal to be something other than what it just is. So I will tell you right now, if you are looking for a very, very friendly, approachable bird, I will tell you to go with the Moran and definitely to go with the Comet before you're going to go with the Welsimer. The Welsimer, while I love them, they are wonderful. I often joke that probably in the whole world of poultry, if I were to be a chicken, I probably would be a Welsimer, if not a Leghorn. I'm torn between the two choices because the Welsimer tends to be very independent. They are approachable but they're not super duper, super duper dupy lovable. Does that make sense? They're not aggressive per se, but they will make a stand if they need to. They are just very independent. Do note that of all these breeds, that your Welsimer is also gonna be very cold hardy. So if you live in a very cold climate, that's definitely gonna be something that you want to look at. In terms of being gentle, I will tell you no doubt that the Moran, hands down, in my personal experience, is much more gentle of these three breeds. The Golden Comet is not aggressive by any stretch of the imagination, but, you know, they're a little bit nosy. They might pluck your pearl earrings out of your ears. <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? So they're not aggressive, but they are definitely up in your space a lot more than a Moran will be. The Morans are very approachable, very sweet, very docile. I have had several Moran roosters, still do, never had a problem. So I can recommend all of these breeds for you, but let's look at what I'm getting about uh, in terms of all the questions about color, color, color. Let's compare. Okay, so I am purposely doing this in the bright sunlight, and I want to show you these three eggs. You also need to know that every day, none of the eggs are the exact same. For example, this is coming from my newer black copper morans, okay? And this is not the darkest that you're going to find. They have a, like a grading scale, if you will, on color. And, uh, you know, I don't have a chart out here. This is probably going to be more mid-range mid of what you're looking for. But you can clearly tell that you're looking for a, and seeing a whole lot more color uh, and darkness, more chocolate in terms of color, even compared to the Welsimer. Okay? So this is what brought this about today. I've had a lot of questions this week. And I just went out there, uh, I just got home and I went out there and my, I saw a Welsimer in the nesting box. This egg is still warm. So this was a great time for me to make this video. So I want you to see the size, kind of a little bit of the shape and what we are talking about. The Welsimers can give some very large eggs and they do tend to be more speckled. Sometimes you will find them to be a, a bit darker than this, a bit more terracotta as I call them. But one of the major marks that you're going to find is the speckled, uh, the presence of the speckled, you know, the speckled shell, okay? It's a wonderful thing to have. Um, I have crossed my Welsomers uh, with other breeds, and that's how I'm getting a lot of my speckled olive eggers, 
it's with the Welsimer people, absolutely. Now, if you're wanting to get olive eggers, um, you're going to cross, if you want a darker olive, most folks tend to, uh, to cross and breed and blend the black copper morans, okay? Not the cuckoos per se, but the black copper morans also, say, with your cream leg bars or with your Americanas. That's how they're coming out with some incredibly awesome deep olive eggs. So there's, here's what you have here. My Moran eggs don't tend to be my largest, but they are definitely um, my darkest. This is one of my newer girls, so she's still working on her color. Up here, this one doesn't tend to be one of my darker ones, um, but this is more of the um, what you're going to see with the um, Golden Comet. They are very, very large, rounded eggs. The shell is unbelievable. Hey, Mr. Peaches. Of all the shells that I have, um, if you're talking... <sighs> Yeah, I know, you got to get in there. Of all the shells that I have, in terms of when I crack an egg, and it's just like the, <laughs> not, a, not a cat. When I crack an egg, and it's the perfect cracked egg per se, do you know what I'm talking about? It just cracks perfectly, beautifully. I mean, there's no little pieces. The golden comet absolutely stands out. Sometimes when I can tell you that when I am putting together my cartons for my customers, even if I have a beautiful Welsimer egg in there or an olive egg, the beautiful presence of a Golden Comet egg just rounds it out. So here's what I'm telling you. You've got three different breeds of not kitty cats. Get down, you silly goose. Three different breeds of chickens with three different totally... <laughs> ridiculous. I love you. Come here. Three different breeds of chickens, okay, with three totally different personalities. You have to evaluate what works for you. What are you looking for? Do you do you want an overabundance of eggs for your family because you eat them like crazy and you sell them like crazy? There's no doubt in my mind you're going to want to go with a golden comet. If you're wanting a little bit more of an independent bird, with some color for your eggs. Yet you especially have a cold hardy region. They do well here. You're definitely gonna wanna look at your Welsimer. And if you're wanting something that is just spectacular uh, in color and friendliness all around, but you're not going to be creme de la creme on the production, if you're willing to sacrifice production for those other characteristics, you're going to want to go with your black copper morans. I hope this video finds you well. Say hi, Mr. Peaches. And if you're wanting the biggest love bug of attention in all of the land and the king of the mountain, you're going to go with Mr. Peaches, aren't you? Take care, guys. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. Hope you're having a great day. We will talk to you soon. You are the silliest boy I know, and I love it.